it can you can be infected for generally a week to two before you'll start having symptoms. That's the incubation period. And once you start having symptoms, whether it be the fever or it be the rash, you are then infectious to others. And most people will get over this in about two weeks, sometimes three weeks it'll take before the rash is completely gone. But until the rash is completely gone and that skin is completely healed, you are in fact infectious to others. And so, and the rash is very infectious. So one of the reasons that we're seeing a lot of spread right now is that people are, are having skin to skin contact and that's how it's spreading so, so widely. One way you can get monkeypox is through, you know, a respiratory spread. Now it's not like COVID where it's very easily spread this way. This is a little bit more difficult. So people really have to be in close conversation for a prolonged period of time, or they could be, you know, cuddling, sleeping together, not necessarily having sex, but sleeping together and just being very close so that those respiratory droplets can go back and forth. That's one way to get it. The other way to get it is through physical skin to skin contact. And so sex, intimacy are great ways for the virus to spread from skin to skin, but the skin is generally a skin that has the rash, right? So it's the rash that is infectious, otherwise healthy skin, uh, generally not so much. And then the third way is it can actually spread by what we call fomites. So a fomite is an inanimate object. Uh, most commonly it's things like bed sheets or blankets or a sleeping bag or something like that where an infected person has used that to keep themselves warm or just, you know, sleep in overnight. And then it is then given to somebody else who sleeps in it or maybe clothes that they would wear. Anyone who becomes infected with monkeypox is at risk for becoming sick with it. Now sick is gonna mean body ache, fever, exhaustion, and the rash. Those are gonna be the symptoms. You know, it's early on, so I do worry a lot about the people that we always worry about a lot. The elderly, the people with chronic illnesses, babies. We've not seen a lot of infection in those populations just yet. Right now we're seeing it mostly in young, predominantly otherwise healthy males. There is a vaccine that's available, but it's in very limited supply. And right now the uh, CDC is being very judicious and there's not nearly enough to start vaccinating the entire population, but the manufacturers are working on that. And, you know, we'll see what happens over the coming months. The best way to protect yourself from monkeypox at this point is to be aware of what's going on and what the uh, transmission is. And so watching videos like this is very helpful. And so you need to pay attention to, you know, if you're in an intimate relationship with someone, hopefully you're monogamous with each other, you know, maintain that monogamy. And if you're having intimate relationships with a new partner, you need to have the conversation and you need to make sure that that person doesn't have a rash. Remember also that the rash from monkeypox can look like a lot of other rashes. And so don't necessarily at this point assume that it's one of the other things which can cause a rash. But have your guard up and, and pay attention to that. So if you have a rash or you've got fever or you've got body aches and you have symptoms, you need to go to your healthcare provider because whether it's monkeypox or, or not, you've probably got something and you, we need to define what that is. So. Certainly, if you've got fever, body aches, exhaustion, it could be something as simple as the flu. But remember, the flu is contagious. And so if you've got that, you're going to want to know so you don't spread it to somebody else. Or maybe it's going to be the monkeypox. Now, a big part of the evaluation, not only be examination of your signs and symptoms and the rash, but also your social history. And if you've had physical contact with anyone who you think may be at risk for having monkeypox. And so it's not an easy diagnosis to make. So when you go to your, your provider, be prepared to have a frank conversation and be truthful. And if you have monkeypox, then you know you can you know start whatever needs to be done to protect you best and to protect those who you care about.